This is uh, putting the gear sensor on the traverse. This is but the array of tools and parts that you need uh, to do it. So there's your gear sensor. So the first thing you need to do is you flatten up the, the little uh, crimp. So I've already done that so it's quicker. Then you pull that off. So now you've exposed the cable. If it's all looking nice and twisted hard together, put a little bit of super glue on the end there to actually set for a minute so that stops it fraying when, um, when we take it through the cable. Um, then the next thing you do, of course, is undo this here which has now released our cable. We pull the cable out. Okay, now we're wanting to put the sensor. Depends on the cable length that's on these. Sometimes it's two different places. So this one I'll mount more here, or if you can get it in there. But I don't like it there because it's too close to rubbish off the tyre, so I think our preferred position is there. Then this feeds through here. Okay, I'll go into that in a minute. We'll go back around the other side of the bike. Because the next thing you have to do in preparation is remove your pedal crank. So I've pre-loosened this one, but you loosen that off, take this out, Get your crank puller, put your crank puller in. I've already pre-pulled pulled this so it looks easy. So you put that in, wind it with your handle until your crank comes off. So that's off. Now you get your Phillips screwdriver, two screws under here. There's one, two, and now you can remove this cover, and now that's exposed the uh, controller. Under here is a cover, which you open that, and in there you'll see all the parts there. Now you pull out the wires gently because you want to try and get them back in the right way so here's the one that's the gear sensor so when we fit this gear sensor in the cable comes through the hole through there and plugs into there okay so you've now got this released so now you pull this out of there you can pull the end ferrule off if you want get that out of the way any pinks in the wire just try and straighten out a little bit because that will help things. Okay, so we're going to put our sensor in there. So we want to cut the cable about there. So that's 420. Now we go to the top to where the gear cable comes into the changer and you pull that back and pull that cable through about 500 of the inner cable out. Don't pull it all the way out because then you just create yourselves more problems. Now go to the place that you're going to cut and put your sensor and hope that you pull the cable back far enough. <laughs> there you go. So you cut that off. Then you just squeeze that back so it's back to round. Now you feed your inner cable back. through it's good and put that back to there so now here's the cable with the inner cable now I'm afraid our sensors don't come with extra fuel so you'll have to get these yourself so we put a fuel
on there. Time to make sure it's pushed all the way home. Mind you, the first time you change the gears, it will push it all the way back. Then you put your gear sensor on. Now, this is always tricky. Now, I want the cable facing towards the motor to get the maximum length. To feed this in, because it's a rubbing system, it's quite tight. That's why I put glue on there. And you look at what way your uh, cable is twisted. So when you push in, you turn it the same, so you're not going anti-twist. To get it through. Okay, so there it's got through. We bring this up to here. That now fits there. So there's your sensor in. We'll do the wiring afterwards. So now, this is your original piece off of here, which would have been all the way up to there. So what we will do, we cut off approximately the length of the new sensor. I'd do it on the other end. Get this end, take off the length of the sensor. first sometimes it's easier make sure you put it on the right way round that now goes to there feed the cable make sure you got the right end again try and make sure that that's pushed on there as snug as it can. That now goes into there. Feed this back through your guide. Get your original frill that you took off. Put that on. Feed it through the gearing. We derail it. Now this is sometimes where you come across you might have to take more out of casing off but we're all right. So see there that's still got enough tail to come to there and we'll just see if that can sit better. Put in there. Yep, so that's, you can, this is quite long, so if you felt you wanted to short that, shorten that, you could, but for this one, I don't need to. So there's your actual sensor in, so now you just would do this back up and do your normal gear alignment. Okay, so now we've got the cable here, a little fiddly, but you try and feed it through the hole, um, and once you've got it through the hole, you will find it'll come out here and there's your cable to plug in. Now I, there is a gap at the top of the uh, box here so that will fit in there like that quite snugly so that goes in there nice. So the first thing we do is plug the sensor in, make sure it's all the way home it does have a click so that's in that won't fall out we can put that back into the motor. This is always another big fiddly bit. Just to get that to clip back on. It will clip. Just get a it's not highly important that it does click. But that's in. Yep, 
So that's there, that's there. So now it's just a case of putting the cover back on, putting your screws back in, put your pedal back on, um, readjusting your gearing, um, and then testing the sensor. Okay, final steps of the sensor being fitted. Um, there's your pedal crank all added, screws back in the bottom, um, everything's set there. Come around to this side. I've added a couple of um, ties to keep everything so that keeps that nice and tight against there. Um, you, when you first do it, you'll have to pull your cable back through, um, tighten it up, do a couple of gear changes so these will, these ferrules will set into the sensor and any ferrules you've moved. Um, so now and then just readjust your gears as normal um, to actually make them change. Now the easiest way to know that you've actually got this right, um, you can have the bike turned on. Okay, and every time you push a gear le lever, you'll see a little green flashing light and I'll push the gear lever and you see a red flash. So that's saying it's registered the gear moving. So it's actually now going to pause the motor. Another way you can do it is actually use the throttle. So you actually drive the motor and then change your gears at the same time as holding the throttle, like as if you were riding, and you'll hear the motor pause. Um, so that's the completed setup. Um, thank you. It's a good time coming, you can feel it in the air. We can all go riding just mad about e-bikes Mellow yellow